What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the TalkBots. This is our 2023 season finale. We're here today looking back on the reminiscence of the past and everything that's been going on in this goofy-ass year that was actually pretty shit. I'm pretty sure most people had a bad year. I had a bad year. But anyway, we're here today. This is my co-host, Louie, and our new guest today, Jake. <laughs> we gotta get a better applause noise. Welcome back. It's been a long year. Do we have any um, New Year's resolutions that people want to have happen this year? Not suck. That's a good one. I Sounds I like that right. one. That's a Sounds about right. I think we can maybe pull that off. I don't know. We my proficiency bonus may not be about it. I will find a way to roll persuasion. Oh. <laughs> I'll find a set of dice in this house, I swear to God. Roll, roll, for, Department. roll for persuasion. I rolled an eight. <laughs> no! Oh, it's going to be that kind of year. Hey, it's 2024. Okay, 10 years ago. I don't know about you guys, but... I had to lose that weight. True. That's Before I get married. We have so the that, same that's, one. That's a big one. Yeah. That's a big one. I have to not uh, be fat. And, <laughs> and, it, and it's not just like losing weight because like I can just lose weight easy. It's it's uh working out. Like I just need to just like strengthen my body. Man, so, that's the easiest part for I me. To get that done. I, I, I would go to the gym like a year ago i used to go to the gym pretty regularly and i was getting pretty beefy and the more i would do like heavy heavy late heavy like working out the more i wanted to eat so i would just eat more and more and more to build on those pounds for that that muscle and god damn it now i'm not going to the gym and now i'm just a fat boy now i'm just a fat boy no fat boy fat boy no. now i'm just a fat boy no fat boy god. by the way i love the suit thank you i love the suit i uh i went with the blue today i hate wearing blue and recording videos here because uh, I'm in Angel's chair, and I've offered to give the chair back to her like multiple times, and it's it's got the red on it, so the red and the blue are super conflicting. You need to sit a little taller in your chair, bro, because look at mine. Mine's the same fucking way. Oh god, I gotta sit up. I gotta sit up a little taller. See, Jake has a chair that he could do whatever, wear whatever he wants in that, and then he, you know, the white, the perfect. white doesn't stop with any. It goes with everything, no, you know. It's fucking neutral for everything. Yeah. You can't fucking match anything. Damn. Are we, are we being we, women right now? Are we like are, are we actually <laughs> like talking about this? We're literally being women. <laughs> yeah, but Louie, the chair goes all the way back. your chair. Um, it brings out your eyes. You want to see something? Oh my something? god, thank you. Oh! Look at that shit! Wow. Come on! It's blue! Sick as Eddie's chair, dude. That looks Fucking so good. Fucking shit can recline and shit. But can it do Fucking this? Yeah, it's can it go pillows. all the way back? Have we all tried Baldur's Gate yet? Because I can tell you for sure I have not. Wait, are you... Are you fucking with me right now? No, I'm not. I haven't. I haven't played Baldur's Gate three. I haven't. I refuse to have a discussion about game of the year while acknowledging the obvious because Baldur's Gate is one of those games that uh, there's just so much you can do with it. The only thing holding you back most of the time is you. Really? If you can't figure it out. Come back in a little bit. You'll probably be way too overpowered and just stomp through it. <laughs> okay. So I, I saw a few clips out of it, but um, one of the biggest things that I know about is that you can, like, bang a druid, and um, mm. that was a pretty big meme for a while. I never, I, I didn't even watch it. I haven't even seen a playthrough. 99% of the characters in Baldur's Gate 3 are romanceable. Ooh. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not belong in the, I think it was 30% was the last statistic they, they uh, put out for it, for the people that had romanced. Uh, Halson. I guess the only combat that I really had with uh, my first group that I was DMing uh, that was actually really good. Uh, some of them didn't like it because they hated it because they were uh, they were fighting Dio Brando from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So it was just the basic vampire like stats, but I gave him the world, and he knocked three of them unconscious in the middle of the fight, and it was really close. And they were really fast turns, so it was really fun. The only other combat that I had that was kind of interesting... Have you ever heard of the DC Comets, um... Fuck, what are they called? It's like all the, the multiversal Batman. Yes, the, the Dark Knight. Yeah, the... Yes. Um, 
So they had like um, Murder Machine was the cyborg version. Well, I, I did that, but with one of their characters. And I had a Doomsday version of them. So every time this Doomsday version took uh, damage from a damaged source, he would become resistance. He would get resistance for that damage type. And then if he got hit a second time with that damage source, he would become immune. That's nutty. It was fun, though. They beat it. It, it took a bit. He had, like, 300 health. It wasn't, like, super crazy, but it, it was still fun. Every, every time my group pisses me off, I go to the stat block for the final boss, and I throw, like, one more, like, messed up thing, tweak a number here or there. Just to, you know, make myself feel better, because trust me, I've uh, I've wanted to make an epic send off, and if I have to go over a thousand health, I I will. Oh, that's definitely a thing. Like like oh, they they killed this creature, and I don't want to tell them how much health it has, so I just like erase it and write like an extra few hundred on there. Oh, I've yeah. I've, I've run actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Bless you, and what the fuck? <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> cannibal side of the buff. <laughs> I'm so old. Like, I still remember, like, playing Zelda Ocarina of Time on the N64. That's how old I am. I'm about to hurt your feelings, because I actually haven't even played a single Legend of Zelda game. Listen, listen, listen. I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3, and I haven't played Elden Ring, because I want to save it for when I'm an old man, and all my friends have already passed away. When I'm in senior living, I want to have something I can play to look back on and go, this is the same game that they played, so now I'm with them still. Oh, Brandon, my God. you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> like, that's, I feel like that's assisted suicide. Oh, yeah, you know, is, he's uh, right. What? Like, he's right. You're, Are you probably, shitting me? You'll probably have like a fucking heart attack or some type of brain aneurysm. That's gonna happen to anyway when I'm that age, right? Like, yeah, well, it, that game will probably on. induce it. <laughs> are, are we talking like? Are we talking like eighties, nineties? Like, give me a give me an age of reference here for me to like assess your heart risk for this game. Well, I don't like, have too many people. I don't have too many people crossed out of my yearbook yet, but there's a few of them that have already asked out. Um, I, I, I what? <laughs> oh, God. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What are your kids gonna find it in like <laughs> sixty years and be like, Jesus, is this a hit list? Yeah, is he a hit man? <laughs> I'm saving those single player games for when I'm a little bit older, I guess. I, I want to oh, get through shit. Resident Evil Four next. I, I'm taking my time slowly on these games. I went through like a good six month period where I was super big in Skyrim, like had it all janked out to hell on PC and. Just, I ran my course with it around the time John Guard had come out. I mean, I got like uh, over a thousand and like eight hundred hours in Smite. I think um, one thousand eight hundred and ninety-seven point three hours. Wow! How many days is that? Yeah. Well, speaking of Resident Evil Four, what is your favorite Capcom game of all time? Oh, don't do this to me. I have to. <laughs> Oh God, that is a that is a very loaded question. Because let me tell you, Capcom has put out some absolute fucking bangers. They have they're, like they're one of I my favorites. To, I have to pick just one. Um, hmm. you yeah. give me three, I can tell you right offhand. Like I can give you three. All right, one hundred percent. Give me your three, and then let's let's think about which one is better. I'm not going to pick any more than one Resident Evil game because that's just kind of unfair. Like, I could sit okay. here and, and just talk about three Resident Evil games that stick out about every every other game in the series, but uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. The 1998 Resident Evil 3. It's a, it's a brilliant fucking game. Uh, there's a lot under the hood that a lot of people, if you're not like a diehard Resident Evil fan, you're not going to get as much, like, Oh wow, that's brilliant sort of thing. Unless you're diving deep in. Why are you other classic games? I did play the I did play the, the new the remake. I really did enjoy that. Uh there's like a weird comparison I have between three and two. Uh two I find to be much more terrifying. But I did enjoy Resident Evil Three. And um the fact that Nemesis was just an absolute unit 
was really fun, but Mr. Etz was just his stomping around, especially the moment when you had to jack up the butch shelf so you can move the butch shelf so way you can cross over to get to the, the clock tower. That moment, you can't see anything behind you. So you have no idea if he's right behind you. And then you fucking change camera angles and he's right there. It's like, oh my God, like, fuck. So I'll say this as the, I guess, resident Capcom shill. Uh, the Resident Evil community is a very unique group where we can never be satisfied by anything. I feel there's a lot, I though. Am... There's a lot of different communities. Oh, it, dude, you, I'm, I'm one of the more accepting. I, I love any addition to the lore because I am, I'm going to flat out admit it, I'm a lore slut. Like, you give me a game with a ton of stuff for me to, like, dive deep into and research, and I'll eat it up. Me too. I mean, a lot and, of the lore, like, aren't there, like, Japanese plays, like, 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 theatrical plays that do a lot of the lore, like, that's missing in between? Uh, I feel like that I've seen... A lot of people don't like the remake because of the fact that they change so much. People will bitch and complain about the clock tower segment because they took out the giant spiders. It's like, bro, they weren't even that good. Oh, it's just <laughs> completely breaking the fourth wall oh, as yeah. I fade in and out of uh, view. Uh, we we don't want to hop into breaking the fourth wall because then I'll talk, I'll just sit here for an hour complaining about how She Hulk was, was terrible. Oh God, stop! I still think if they made that fucking show like Suits, like where it was focused more around like the lawyering, it would have been fucking mm, mwah, fucking so it, good. It really would have been so like so much better, dude. I it probably would have brought a lot more different audiences to watch it. Yeah, I don't think that Marvel thought that would work. I don't think Marvel thought. She's a character who has no problems. Like, there is no character development. She doesn't have any conflict. There's no struggle. She became She-Hulk. Okay, so she had to learn That's how to be... Struggle. Yeah, well, yeah. But then Bruce was like, I'm going to teach you how to control your shit. And then that was over with the first episode. Then it was like, uh-oh, she's She-Hulk, so she got fired. Which, legally... That's discrimination. There's, there's like, three different points in, in being a lawyer. There's three different arguments to bring up as to why she should have never been fired in the first place. But, hey, whatever. It was a good thing that she got fired because she didn't have to solve any of her problems. In the fucking next few scenes, she got offered a brand new job and took the brand new job. So, basically, anytime any kind of conflict arose, somebody else already completed the, the problem for her. Like, she literally had no problems. She was literally just handed everything on a silver platter the whole fucking show, but she was constantly complaining and bitching about men. So that's that's what made it shit. Why is my show bad? Uh oh, it's just the writers. Let's break the fourth wall to go talk to them. It's like, so you're making a joke about how you can't write a show and you think it's not cringe and you think it's funny, but it's actually just oh, you're bad. I'm not even gonna weigh in on this because I I don't want to like come out and and say my opinion on She Hulk and then like never get invited back because your community hates me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no man, I I I, I, I I'm a very cancelable man. Okay, I'm I'm I can't keep my mouth fucking shut. I like shut. She Hulk. Foolishness, Dante. I, I'm I'm easily able to completely nuke my expectation. What do you What do you mean? You 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 like She Hulk? I did find myself laughing at a lot of the shit, and just kind of enjoying myself just for the moment. Cause like, okay, that's uh, that's a fair thing to do. Like, okay, yeah, it was kind of goofy. You had fun. That's like no way home. Oh, I I can admit it's absolute dog shit. Like, it's <laughs> it's a bad show in terms of like. She Hulk. What was it? Welcome to Raccoon City or something like that, or Raccoon no, City? No, that was the that was the new movie. Uh, Infinite Darkness. Also, who the, the fuck Resident was the Evil character Netflix. in the movies? Uh, the the woman in the movies. Alice. Yeah, because she was like a completely brand new like character for the franchise, right? Yeah, she does not exist. Thank God in the in the uh, games. Yeah, in the games. Yeah. Because, like, it, it, Resident it, Evil, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Resident Evil Extinction, Resident Evil Afterlife, Resident Evil Retribution, and Resident Evil The Final Chapter. I will I will say this. The first two movies stand up as pretty alright horror movies on their own right. 
<clears throat> there's approximately a solid 45 minutes where the third movie is actually all right to watch. Yeah. And everything past that 45 minutes. It's shit. Did you know that George Romero, uh, the guy who did Night of the Living Dead, actually did write a script for a Resident Evil adaptation that was a little bit more faithful to the game? Really? Yes. Uh, George Romero had actually worked on a couple of the Japanese commercials for Resident Evil 2, if I remember correctly. They just chose not to go with it. I don't remember the exact reasoning off the top of my head, but uh, so they also had to make going... all this other shit, this other like, fucking nonsense, just going in every direction, fucking western. Oh yeah, blowing up in a nuke. So... I I was thinking of like a cast for a Devil May Cry movie, like a fan cast. And you want to know what I came up with? Dante is. Uh, it would be very hard. I've never seen him act in this direction or act like this way. Jared Padalecki, the the guy with the long hair from the plays Sam in Supernatural. Mm. Interesting. Okay. And then for I first started uh, watching Supernatural. Virgil. For Virgil, I would want it to be uh, his uh, his partner from Supernatural that plays Dean um, Jensen. Get the Ackles. fuck out! No. Yeah, come on! No, you have to listen. No. And then I thought, you know, what about Nero from uh, Devil May Cry Four? Like, uh, I thought Aaron Paul. Oh. You say, bitch. My favorite part of being a JoJo fan uh, is get finally understanding the Iraqi forgot. Yeah. But it, but mm. a lot of it is is explained as to like why it made sense that it, it for like it just doesn't matter anymore for some of these things, like um. Give me give me an Iraq I forgot like right now that that you you think he oh, actually God. forgot. Look, I I cannot think of one off the top of my head. I got you. I got it's you. So Starfinger. Long. Remember? Star oh yeah, yeah. dude, that okay. came in in clutch like. No, 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 Because listen, Starfinger doesn't move faster than Star Platinum. It, his punches are the same speed. Starfinger is only useful in situations where he's uh, like held down and he can't move. So he extends his fingers. That's what he did on the boat with the monkey when, when the boat was like holding him stuck to the wall. So he used Starfinger. Yeah. That's like the only he, time where that's useful. He could have figured out other applications for it, though. I had I a Rocky see that. not forgot. Had he not forgot? <laughs> like, look, I don't know what kind of good ganja Iraqis got over in Japan, but like to come up with that kind of story, like it's gonna need some pretty bizarre shit, dude. Yeah, I, I like uh, part nine so far. Um, wait, yeah, no, yeah. Hold on, part nine. Am I, oh, am I on the wrong one, part eight? Um, they finished part eight? Wait, wait, no, 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 I might be wrong, I might be wrong, I might be wrong. So part six is, uh, Stone Ocean, part seven is Steel Ball Run. Yeah, part eight was, um... Jo Joe Jolian? Yeah, Joe Jolian, and then part nine is, um, Joe, jo uh, the main character is Jodio, and, uh, it's, it's two... What? It's, uh, yeah, and there's a trans character, and his stand is like a giant crab or whatever. Like, it's it, cool. it, yeah, and they brought Rohan Kashibi back into it. Jodio? Yeah, his name is Jodio. <laughs> oh my god! Does he have a catchphrase where he says it's not his first Jodio? <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> Jake, let's see if I come back. <laughs> Call in on the number on your screen to see if Jake lives or dies. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the Talk Boss. That's it. Good night.